It's no secret that purebred dogs are more expensive than animals from a shelter, but certain breeds can easily cost thousands of dollars. French bulldogs, in particular, can easily cost $10,000 when they come from a renowned breeder. Many people are perplexed regarding why an individual would pay so much for a dog when there are more than 70 million happy, healthy pets in need of homes in the United States alone. Today, we're answering the question, why are French bulldogs so expensive? First, let's look at the history of the French Bulldog. The breed is from the same lineage as the Molossians, an ancient Greek civilization. Frenchies were first bred in Nottingham in the 1800s by lace makers who wanted to create a small, miniature version of the English Bulldog, also called a toy bulldog. In the 1860s, when craftsmen moved to France, they brought their dogs along with them. They became popular there and were given the name French Bulldogs. However, certain experts claim that these dogs were crossbred with Pug and Terrier, and that is how we got to today's French Bulldog. Even when the breed was brought back to England for dog shows, the name French Bulldog remained. The French developed a more uniform form breed, a dog with a compact body, straight legs, but without the extreme underjaw of the English bulldog. Some had the erect bat ears, while others had rose ears. Wealthy Americans traveling to France fell in love with these endearing little dogs and began bringing them back to the USA. The Yanks preferred dogs with erect ears, which was fine with the French breeders, as they preferred the rose-eared specimens, as did the British breeders. After World War I, the breed's popularity began a decline that would last for the next 50 years. The enormous popularity of another small breed, the Boston Terrier, probably contributed to this. Also, many Frenchies had problems giving birth naturally. It would be years before safe veterinary caesarean sections would be routinely performed. Hot summer months, before residential air conditioning became common, were very difficult for the dogs. And interest in purebred dogs generally declined during the Depression of the 1930s. A small number of Frenchie breeders in America and Europe kept the flame alive, but by 1940, French bulldogs were considered a rare breed, and only 100 were registered with the American Kennel Club, but they had a renaissance after World War II, and to this day, the breed remains extremely popular. They are the single most common dog in the UK, the fourth most popular in America, and the third most popular in Australia. Because of this demand, breeders can often charge whatever they want. There are even reports of breeders charging upwards of $100,000 for a single dog, although the average price is between $2,000 and $7,000, depending on the health and gene pool of the dog. There are many other factors that go into the expense of French Bulldogs. French Bulldogs are not like other breeds. Their females need to go through a C-section to deliver puppies because of their small hips and the puppy's big heads. Since these pooches are also small in size, a female should deliver one to three puppies per birth. Because of this, there is a relative shortage of new Frenchie puppies. And this isn't the only issue in the fertility process. Frenchies have been bred to take on unnatural physical qualities. In fact, they would go extinct within a generation if humans weren't actively breeding them. French bulldogs can't mate traditionally. This is because they have short legs and narrow hips. That means males can't physically mate with females so breeders must artificially inseminate the female. As you can conclude, this presents an extra cost for the breeder, and it's expensive to feed a pregnant Frenchie. A breeder who takes care of a pregnant Frenchie female needs to feed her with a high-protein diet to induce lactation. In addition, newborn Frenchie puppies take a great deal of hands-on care and attention. Newborn Frenchies need to be fed every three hours around the clock, and they should not be left alone with the mum, at least for the first several days. Frenchie mums are generally very attentive and good mums, but there is a high probability that a mum will inadvertently roll over on one of her babies and smother it. Breeders couldn't bear to see this happen, so they are up with them constantly and get very sleep-deprived when they have new litters. In other words, raising newborn puppies is a 24-hour job. There's always one small buddy in the litter that is unable to find the way to food. The main breeder's role is to provide all the puppies with enough mum's milk and do certain health checks before the time for selling comes. In addition, blues, blue fawns, and chocolates are more expensive than standard color Frenchies because there is a very high demand for these colors and they are relatively rare because they are created by recessive genes, which are naturally occurring but not common in Frenchies, which means that they must be inherited from both mum and dad. And there are several very dark secrets about French Bulldogs and other snub-nosed dogs. Brachycephalic dogs, or flat-faced dogs for short, have compressed windpipes and nasal passageways. This means that they struggle to breathe normally even when they aren't exercising. Imagine never being able to take a full breath for your whole life. 
That is the existence that most flat-faced dogs are doomed to. Because of this, heat and humidity can be dangerous and even fatal to French bulldogs if they are not kept in the shade with plenty of water. And this is just the beginning. Because they have a shallow eye socket that gives them the bulging eyes look, many of these dogs can't always fully blink. This can lead to dry corneas and corneal ulcers, according to the Kennel Club. Their unusual eye and eyelid anatomy also makes them more likely to have conjunctivitis and eye injuries. Along with breathing problems, flat-faced dogs are often more likely to have skin problems, according to an American Veterinary Medical Association analysis of pet insurance claims. It's because these dogs often have deep skin folds and wrinkles. They are often more likely to have issues with fungal skin disease, allergic dermatitis, ear infections, and pyoderma. As a result, these dogs have extremely high medical bills. This means that owners should prepare to pay much more over the course of their pet's lifetime, even after investing thousands of dollars in a high-quality bred dog. According to Dr. Dan O'Neill at the Royal Veterinary College in England, as well as the health risks associated with their extreme physical features, the public's insatiable demand for French bulldog puppies is fueling a highly profitable market for unscrupulous dealers and breeders. He added, many puppies are farmed in very low welfare conditions often outside the UK, and then passed off as healthy, happy UK-bred puppies. This can contribute to many later behavioral problems, such as aggression. Owners who still decide to buy a French bulldog puppy should research carefully about where the puppy comes from and ideally only buy from a breeder that is a member of the Kennel Club's Assured Breeder Scheme. However, the soaring demand has led to illegal puppy smuggling with profits so high that some crime syndicates have switched from drugs and cigarettes to importing dogs. Puppies can be bought in foreign farms for as little as 40 pounds and then sold in Britain for up to 2,000 pounds. There are believed to be up to 100 dog smuggling gangs operating in the UK, bringing in an estimated 200 puppies every day. So, at the end of the day, your ultra-expensive dog may be fueling underground gang economies. Many activists claim that the practice of dog breeding should be retired in general, because these animals usually have health problems, truncated lifespans, and a lower quality of life compared to mutts. However, if you insist on getting a Frenchie, experts stress that it is crucial to do your homework and make sure the dog came from an ethical source. Beyond this, owners would be wise to put aside a large sum of money for the medical bills that may be associated with these exceptionally expensive dogs. In the end, French Bulldog's cost is the result of scarcity, high demand, and the medical costs required to breed these sweet-natured, bat-eared dogs.